Welcome to REI Pro Talk, where real estate investors turn for the latest news, tips, and tricks from the real in the trenches pros. Tune in to hear Chris Goff, the nation's premier real estate investing powerhouse. Join up with other top pros in the investing world as they cover every topic. No fluff, no filler, no holds barred. All you need to know from start to paycheck. All right, so we're in REI Pro in our lead generation section called Lead Pro. So you can find that in your main menu. Now, no matter if it's pre-foreclosure or any other type of lead generation source you're looking for, this is where you're going to go. All right, you have a couple of different ways on actually how to search for this. So enter a city, county, or zip code. So that definitely gives you an option. So if I were to check Orlando, Florida, I could say, what are you looking for? Now, of course, we would check pre-foreclosures and you do have the ability to actually stack. So you could come down and say, I also want them vacant, right? So that's going to heavily reduce the amount, but it may be a more pinpointed marketplace for you. Okay. So this is just one way. And of course you would click search. We would bring that up. Now, another way to search for foreclosures is our foreclosure heat map down here at the bottom. So if I just scroll over each state, you can kind of see, okay, these are the current foreclosures happening right now. And this system is updated daily on foreclosure. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to click Florida. It's going to bring up the entire state here. And you could scroll over each county. As you can see, the darker color is going to have the most, which is going to be in Miami-Dade. And then we move up into Broward and so forth. But let's say that, let's pick a different area here and maybe go to Hillsboro um, in that Tampa area. If I click that and say, yes, I want to search that, the system can also search for pre-foreclosures this way versus just typing in a location. Now, here's the thing. If you're an investor that invests in multiple different areas, all you have to do is just come back up to the search box and you could type it in here. Now, it may be just a specific zip code or it could be a city or a county. It doesn't matter. We'll combine these locations for you. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is actually go to the filters button here. Now, this is going to start to really kind of cherry pick exactly what you're looking for. Now, again, you do have the ability to stack it from this point. I'm going to go after single family homes. The next really important part is the auction date, right? So we have all the way up until the auction date to actually do something with this property. Otherwise, it's going to go to auction. The bank makes the first starting minimum bid. If nobody outbids the bank, the bank wins the property at auction, and then it's going to become a bank-owned property. Okay, then you would need to go through a realtor in order to purchase that. And that could be months down the road. When we work with pre-foreclosures, we only have up to the auction date. That is the deadline, which really comes in your favor when you're talking about sense of urgency to an owner saying, look, we have to do something right now. Okay, so you have up to that auction date. So I want to see future only. There are going to be a ton of properties that are still in that pre-foreclosure uh, status. And it's okay if you want to start to market those properties. Okay. But if you're just getting started, I want everything fresh, new. What do I have time to work? Because keep in mind, every property that's still in pre-foreclosure and think about, remember banks don't have systems and employees and staff to handle all this liability that's coming back. A lot of these properties could be still sitting from the pandemic. Every month it goes by, they're just going to get further, further behind. Debt goes up, attorney costs go up, and it may just end up being a property that's just not worth buying. So if I look at the future auction only dates. Now I know I have time starting today to start marketing those owners and saying, look, we could buy your house. We can help you out of this situation. Okay. So I definitely want to select that future auction. Now, as far as values, this is kind of a big thing for me. I don't personally care what the value of the property is because I'm not necessarily buying it for a million dollars. 
okay? I'm buying it for whatever the back payments are, whatever the repair cost is going to be, whatever the monthly payments, the holding time. I'm really looking at those expenses versus saying, I've got to come up with a million dollars to make this deal work. It doesn't necessarily work that way. And that's the beauty, if you, especially if you live in an area that may be more expensive than you know, someone else. Pre-foreclosure is such a great business. That's why I say, if you ever thought about getting into this business, it's a niche business. We have full training. Definitely want to jump in there, okay, and do this. But the one thing that I want you to focus on is potential equity. We can only work with properties that have some equity. And the simple reason is you have to make up back payments. You have to potentially put money into the property for repairs, updating. You may have to pay the owner to move. You're going to have additional costs. And there's no point of buying a property if you're going to spend more than you could actually sell it for. So we do want to work with properties with some equity. What equity? Oh, we start out with 20%. Okay, it may not be enough for every single lead, but you have to start somewhere. And I think that's the key. Now you have other filters here. The one thing that, you know, when I work with foreclosures is number one, it's got to be within whatever distance I'm willing to drive. You know, some people are like, Hey, Chris, I'll drive three hours to make a hundred grand. Well, that's up to you. And I think that's a personal question. Number two, I need to have time to market this particular property. So I'm looking at future auction date. And number three, I have to make sure the numbers work. So I'm going to have to have some equity in this, in this property. So not every property is going to meet that buying criteria. And that's why, again, it's so important to filter this list down. Now, as far as, you know, how long they've owned the home, it's irrelevant. They're in trouble. They're behind on payments. You know, does the owner live in state or out of state? Maybe they're motivated if they live out of state. Look, if you're in foreclosure, you're already motivated and it doesn't matter if you live down the street. We work with a lot of owners that already left the property and the property is just sitting there vacant. Okay. So I know at minimum, that's what I'm looking for. For you, it could be something different. And that's why we provide these additional filters. I'm going to go ahead and click the apply filters. All right. So as you can see, it really narrowed our list down. Now, here's the thing. When we talk about distance from the property. You may not, if you live in South Tampa, like way South, you may not want to drive way North, right? So that's where we have our drawing tool. Now, if I keep zooming in just enough, it's going to enable that drawing tool here up at the corner. Now I could go in and just start cherry picking properties, depending on what exactly I'm looking for. For me, like I said, I'm willing to drive X distance right? So for you, it might be three hours. For me, it might be 30 minutes. Sometimes it just depends. You know, if you're in, you know, Los Angeles, it could take you three hours to get from one end to the other. It really just depends on how far you're willing to go to make this work. You know, if you're getting started, I would drive as far as you can to make the deal work, right? I always say if the numbers make sense, it's a deal, right? Don't fall in love with houses, fall in love with numbers. That's where you're going to do well. So you have that ability to really go in and cherry pick these properties. At this point, I'm going to take all 73 of these leads. Okay. I'm going to build a campaign out of it. So I'm going to go up to my actions. I'm going to select all of my leads here and I'm going to create a marketing campaign. I want to put package all these properties into one campaign because I may come back, you know, two weeks from now, a month from now, and I'm going to run a new list against this. So you have that ability, put them all in a, a campaign because at that point, now we can start to market this, this campaign. So I can go in here. Now we're going to create a campaign name. So you might just keep it simple. You might just put in, you know, Hey, 20% from the equity. This is really just for you. Okay. You can campaign type, you can put in there. It's great when you're ordering postcards through us. And then I can add these selected leads. Now what I've done is put them in a campaign. This is so simple so far, right? Now I'm just going to go over to my marketing section and I'm going to see my campaign here. Now you've got some options as far as marketing this. You can order postcards. You can print letters. You can clean the list and export this and do something, whatever else you want to do with it. But you can also do bulk skip tracing, which is great. So no matter how you market these properties, we got to get this stuff out quickly. That's the key. Remember, the auction date is the deadline. 
Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to REI Pro Talk. If you've ever wanted to jump into the real estate game, get started with the number one software for real estate investors on the planet, REI Pro. Start for free at www.myreipro.com.